Oh, and we're here in the Sorcery mod pack, a really cool mod pack that makes this uh, more of a fantasy kind of gameplay where you have spells, magical weapons and stuff like that. And isn't this animation really cool? This is a spell forge. There are different kinds here and I'm actually reading one of the books here that is going to tell me a little bit about what this game is all about. You know, there's essence stuff like that and awakening and it'll actually spawn in a bunch of things that we actually have to kill here and you'll see whoa am i not admin i thought i was oh now i'm gone okay that's uh <laughs> they actually do get killed uh, i have the misfortune of oh it's a familiar really cool really nice i have the f misfortune here of having this lady here the arcane uh she's terrible she uh let me do that and pause the air because she would actually kill you. I happen to find her and she's really cool. And we have a familiar that... Okay, she died. All right. The familiars help me kill these uh, different sorcerers and everything. And you pick up stuff and you get actually some spells. You get some potions, some essences and everything. That is being used to power your spells. There's a lot of really different things. And as you can see, obviously, the color represents fire, lightning and ice. And uh, this is something that you will have to explore as part of the game. But there's a lot of things in here that are so different. You can see, for instance, you have spirit potions, regeneration of your spirit and stuff like that. And you have the different f spells, ice spell, you have fire spell, I believe. And you have lightning spell as well somewhere. Oh, there's an ice spell cast. There's a lot of different things in here that is just really cool. And of course, not just that, not just the spells, you also have magical arrows, for instance. This is something, of course, you don't have in your base game. There's an ice arrow. I can then change over to a fire arrow as well. I mean, it looks really, really cool. It's like an incendiary arrow kind of thing that gives... Oh, it looks really, really good. So there's a lot of things to explore here that obviously are spell related. As we check in here to the different skills, you'll see you have some general sorcery, fire sorcery, ice sorcery, lightning sorcery, and then some unholy sorcery as well, and holy sorcery. A bunch of things in here as well. And this goes through the whole game. You have the spells, you have weapons, like you can see here, fire weapons, fire armor, and some traps. I'm not going to spoil the fun in here, but the nice thing about Sorcery Mod, it actually plays pretty nicely with some other mods. For instance, people have been playing this with Darkness Falls, where it actually fits in pretty well as well. So I'm going to show you how to install it through the mod launcher, even though you actually can install it manual as well if you follow some simple steps. By going through the mod launcher is probably the easiest way of doing it. But in a nutshell, you basically get your different spells. You start throwing them depending on what you want to accomplish. It has different effects. In this case, it was, I think, the Meteor. Or was that the Fire Nado? Maybe it was the Fire Nado. And then you have the regular fire spell and everything. So there's a bunch of different effects and everything. And they're all really cool. Of course, this is all fire because that's what I was throwing. There's the lightning and there's the ice as well. So you have to master different ones. Collect the essence, which are def basically something like this. The lightning essence, you can see, it'll tell you that you get these one from pine trees, boulders and lead and stuff like that. Fire essence you get from burnt biomes. The burnt trees and coal ore etc so as you start mining as you collect the resources you actually get these essences as well that you use to well cast your spells but welcome back to the channel great people i'm video 42 and uh, of course i make guides and usual survival games now let's turn to how to actually get sorcery mod pack installed the first thing we want to do is you want to get the seven days to die mod launcher this is a private initiative that has been developed that makes installing mods and mod packs much easier than doing it manually so this is really something you should take a look at the link is here for actually download it i will leave a link in the description for the seven days today mod launcher.org so you actually go can go here it'll have some information as well you can have a look how to install magic mod tr troubleshooting and how to so if you have any issues do have a look at the troubleshooting here but get this one downloaded and get it installed as an application on your windows machine once you've installed it and you've run it it'll look something like this you can see here this is the initial splash screen where i actually have three different mod packs installed right now i have doctor's false gna mod undead legacy so you can have multiple installs of different mod packs in addition to your normal steam version as well and then we click here on sorcery and there will be some information down here it'll tell you that it's the, which version it is that is 0 0.9 
four two and it'll give some information if you want to click to go and get more information about it but there's a lot of information in here now there is one one minor major problem that i see with sorcery and mod pack it does not tell you which vanilla base version that it actually supports so we are currently on alpha 19.5 when i'm making this version of the mod install and i believe sorcery supports it but it should have told you it should have said down here saying this is compatible with vanilla 19.5 for instance because some map mod packs and then let me go see if i can find for instance this one under legacy if you go and uh, check here for instance it says requirements 19.4 if you try to install under legacy stable on 19.5 it will be failing so it would have been really good if they actually specified here that hey this is using 19.5 it's using 19.4 it's using 19.3 so that people know which base game they need to actually install because this is important because the first step we want to do we want to have a version of the vanilla game installed and in this case i have installed 19.4 so I can copy over from an existing copy if you don't have 19.5 or you need a different version you can actually download it from Steam put in your username and password and then select whichever version you want to have let's say 19.4 assuming the mod pack is actually supporting that in my case I'm going to copy from an existing install what this is going to do is going to take a copy of the base game and it's going to put it in a separate folder that I've decided it's going to be sorcery and it's going to be under here so it'll be a totally separate install and later on the next step will be to actually download the mod pack and then be putting the mod pack on top of this fresh install we're going to go ahead and install game copy and that's going to take a while because it's copying over something like 10 gigabytes to your new location on your hard drive so make sure you have the space now it's made a copy and it's popping up a window saying that mod folder detected because i had a mod folder in my vanilla game and that can interfere with any mod pack install so it's basically saying hey we detected some mods there do you want me to just delete them so i can install it properly normally you just say yes it will not delete it from your vanilla install but it will just delete it from this separate install that it made for sorcerer in this case so that part is done. Now there's a few more steps here. There's a few options here. You can have a look at refresh mods automatically. I would generally not do that. You normally don't need the EC anti cheat unless, you know, it's, it's, it's anti cheat. I mean, you're not going to cheat yourself, right? Update registry. You can do that if you really want to. Direct download if you want to. Save all games local to mod. I would do that because it means it kept separate from the vanilla saves. And the next step we want to do, we want to hit pre-sync mod. So what pre-sync mod is, it says the mod is not downloaded yet. Would you like to download it now? And you do yes. So what it's doing is going to download the files down here. It's on 200 out of 1800 files. And it's going to download it into a temp mods and i don't know why it's saying that different weird folder here because that's incorrect anyway so it's going to download it onto your hard disk onto this new version that you installed and then it will install it onto that version as well and it's done it downloaded it took about well 49 seconds and then it's copied things over it's copied things over it's copied things over and we actually should be done now so if we hit play mod it's going to tell you like blah blah scanning yeah 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 game started and the game should be starting up just like it does normally i'll do some loading you'll see the regular screen come up and then it changes over to the sorcery screen because once it loads in all the mod stuff it will be changing the background to uh, well something that they put in so that is a bit more <laughs> a bit more sorcery-ish so we're gonna do here we're gonna do a new game and we're gonna select jeff uh, because i don't want to make my own character in this case we're gonna do a uh, uh, sorcery sorcery test and we're gonna make our just a random world here so we're gonna do we're not gonna use one of these we're gonna just do a random world here something like this will just generate a small one otherwise i'll be here forever and of course you can change the different game options here basic advanced multiplier i would just leave them as they are you might want to change for instance the difficulty setting if you really are so inclined but in my case i'm just going to accept the standard ones i'm going to do start and it will be generating a new world which is going to make me wait a little bit here in your case well you're not going to notice because i'm going to edit it out 
And as part of any seven days that I, or well, some other games as well, if you get a Windows Defender firewall pop up saying that, hey, you know, do you want to communicate with this network? You might want to do yes, because otherwise you might have some issues. So I normally just do allow access and let the game to start because it's a bit tedious if you deny it and it has network issues. This specifically if you are allowing people to connect to your game, otherwise they will not allow the, well, Windows Defender will not allow inbound connections, so you can't invite players to join your game. And we're here, basic or survival, Noah, you know, Noah is the best. I mean, he's really, really, really good. And uh, as you can see, things are working fine. Things are here. We are in the game. We're installed. If we hit, uh, you know, a tab here, you can check inventory. It's a bit different. We'll be if you check our skills and everything. You'll see a different things. You'll have the fire. You'll have the ice sorcery, lightning mastery, and stuff like that. A bunch of things for you to actually explore. But uh, at least like this, it's working. Something to keep in mind. Always read this one. You should be reading this one. You actually get a sense of what's happening. But I will leave that to you. It's a really fun and interesting mod that really changing things up more of in a fantasy kind of way of playing the game which is i think really interesting that's a small little guide if you have any further comments or queries and anything uh, put that in my comment section below and maybe you've enjoyed this video enough to press that like thumbs up button and i will hopefully see you next time special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel if you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos do follow the patreon link